you're telling me that when we turn out the lights and you turn on this black light, we're gonna see things that we normally can't see right now? That's exactly what I'm telling you. That's how a black light works. <laughs> I'm not buying it. This sounds like science fiction. No, no, nothing fiction about it. It is 100% science. Uh, you ready? Yes. All right. Wait, what, what kind of things are we gonna see? I don't know, dust particles, you know, splatters of things that have been dropped on our heads from past shows. Could be anything. Oh. Okay? Uh -huh. Here we go. Wait, do I have to wear like a special kind of glasses to see things? No, oh. black lights work without special glasses. You got it? Got it. Okay, are you okay. ready? I'm ready. You're sure? <laughs> yeah. Wait. John! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm ready, let's go. Let's All right, go. Fine. lights! Okay, I'm gonna turn on the black light right now. Okay. Here I go. Ooh. Oh. 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 Is this really necessary? Yes! It's so bright in here. I don't want to see the invisible things. There are no invisible things, Hi there. John. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. Hi, I'm John. I'm Brandon, and this is Way Too Many Lights. No. Ah! No, don't. Don't, don't. Don't tell me don't. If you hadn't used that black light earlier, then maybe I wouldn't be so afraid of the dark. It wasn't, it wasn't the black light that made those things appear. What do you mean? I mean, I pranked you. When the lights went out, I, I told the crew to come in dressed in funny costumes so that you would think it was the black light. See, I prearranged the whole thing. It was all me. Well, and the crew. Ain't you crew today? I'm sorry, okay? You're sorry? Yes. You could have just instilled a brand new fear into my life. You know how jumpy I get when things scare me? Hey, John, you want a hot dog? Ah! Ah! Got two. Ah! Oh. Ah! I got scared by a pop up book, Brandon. I got scared by a pop up book for small children. How did you think I'd be able to handle people appearing out of nowhere when the lights turn off? Oh, you're right. You're, I really am sorry. Oh. I feel like I have to make things right, you know? I, it was my prank that, that made you afraid, so I'll help you overcome your fear. How about we just turn off one light? Just one. I'll help. Is that silence a yes? Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, okay, can, can you, can you, can you count it down? Oh, yeah, no, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's good, okay. go, you got this. I'm counting it down, here okay. we go, here we go. Three. No, oh, you gotta start higher than what? that, man. <laughs> I need more of a warning than that. Oh, okay, how about 10? Minutes, yeah, ten that would min be great. 10 minutes, um, okay. 600. No. 599. Oh. 598, 597, 597, 597, 597, 597, 597, 597, Said one. I did, I did, but I, I think I think that you can do this. If we just turn one more off at least, you think you can do it? Can you count down again? John, I know it's scary, but you can do it. I just just close your eyes and think of things that make you happy. Puppies and soccer and 
ice cream. Puppies and soccer and ice cream. Puppies and soccer and ice cream. Puppies and soccer and ice cream. <gasps> oh, that was amazing. Okay. <laughs> you see, you're doing it. Uh, yeah. You, you want to try another one? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. Turn off the light. You can, yay! John is about to turn off another lamp. You can do it, John! You can turn that lamp off. All you have to do is flip the switch. Flip it, keep flipping. Huh? Flip it, he did it! He did it! You're the bravest. Ain't no lamp can hold you down. Click it off and you'll know you're the fiercest guy in town. Huzzah! Good job, Greg. John. Only one lamp left. I believe in you. I can't, oh. I can't. That's okay, you did really great. You got nine out of 10 lamps. Yeah. I need, I, I need. What do you need? Can I get you something? I need Bible story time with Cullen. <laughs> hey guys. Cullen, <laughs> thank goodness you're here. Tough day? Yes, I am so troubled, Kellen. I'm sorry to hear that. It's never great to have a bad day. But good news, I've got just the thing for you. Hey, that's my line. Oh no. Looney Larry here, and I've got just the thing for you. Are you having a tough day? Or even a week or year? Does your life feel like one big thunderstorm? Are you sad, scared, exhausted, perturbed? Pause, right there. Okay, before Looney Larry gets too carried away, let's take a look at our Bible verses today, which are in the book of 2 Corinthians. This book is actually a letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Corinth when they were having some troubles. Now, Paul himself had gone through a lot of hard times, so he knew exactly what it felt like. He wrote, Give praise to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Father who gives tender love. All comfort comes from Him. He comforts us in all our troubles. Now we can comfort others when they are in trouble. We ourselves receive comfort from God. So when you have troubles or when you're overwhelmed or overwhelmed, all you need is a little comfort. How did he? Did you say comfort? Uh, okay, I might regret this, but let's see what he has to say. With these exclusive Looney Larry comforters, you'll feel better at no time. Do you feel lost or confused? I feel so lost and confused. You just got comforted! Wow! It's so soft! <laughs> Are you tired and overwhelmed? Wow, I'm so tired and overwhelmed. You just got comforted! <laughs> That's better! <laughs> Sad, scared, lonely, unexplainably unsure of how you feel, but you know it's not how you want to feel. Wow, I'm so sad and scared and lonely and unexplainably unsure of how I feel, but I know it's not how I want to feel. You just got comforted. Uh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's set the record straight. While thick, cozy blankets are called comforters, I'll give you that, they are not the comforter. That's God. Remember, Paul wrote that all comfort comes from God. God's comfort touches our hearts with love, compassion, and encouragement. And it comes in all different colors. That's right. With our latest matching technologies, you can customize your comforter into any color of your choosing. Or for only $17 plus another $200 more, you can upgrade your comforter to our exclusive mood changing option. You heard me. Forget mood rings. Let's check out our line of mood comforters. They change color to match your mood so you're never alone when you're down in the dumps. You'll feel less sad and lonely in no time. Would I lie? Apparently you would, Looney Larry, because there are no blankets or any product you can buy that will give you lasting comfort. Feeling doubtful? Well then try our super comfort comforters filled with three times the stuffing for extra thick Cozy goodness! Oh. oh, they're irresistible! What I lie? Okay, here's the deal, y'all. True comfort comes from God, and it can come in all different forms, like a sense of peace or feeling like God is near to you. God can also give us comfort through other people, like a friend who listens to you when you had a really hard day, or a parent who gives you a hug when you get hurt. And since we receive comfort from God, we can comfort others when they're in need. Let's look at that verse one more time. Give praise to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Father who gives tender love. All comfort comes from Him. He comforts us in all our troubles. Now we can comfort others when they are in trouble. We ourselves receive comfort from God. Jesus made it possible for us to experience God's love and comfort. When we put our trust in Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. We are never alone or without the comfort of God. Wow. So God is with me and can give me comfort all the time. That's amazing. Yep. All comfort comes from God. And sometimes it's up to us as Jesus followers to give comfort to others. Yeah, I know when I'm having a hard time, the thing that makes me feel better is when someone takes the time to listen and to encourage me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I am with you on that one. Well, I hope this was helpful through your tough day. <sighs> ah, <laughs> yes, this is definitely helpful. I knew I could count on you, Kellen. Anytime, I'll see you later. Bye. I'm glad you're feeling better. Uh, me too. Thanks for caring enough about me to help me pass my fear. Well, it was mostly my fault. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, reveal the question. <laughs> oh, how can you show someone you care? Oh. That's a big part of being able to comfort someone, mm -hmm. actually showing them that you care about them and what's going on in their life. Yeah, maybe you help them get over a fear. Uh, you can show someone you care by making time for them. Uh huh. You know, some people feel really cared for when you give them a gift oh, or, or yeah. when you say something nice about them. Yeah, everybody's different. So what are the things that work for you? Talk it over. I'm Brandon. I'm John. And this was the So and So Show. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Or good morning. Good morning, everyone. Afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Could be, I don't know, midday.